Okay, so uh, this video, we're going to see how a uh, mini tab works. Okay, so we'll do different things that uh, I did in Excel with mini tab. I'm going to do mini tab only. Okay, so let's uh, start. So if you open mini tab, you're going to see uh, this image here. Okay, which is the kind of open off mini tab. And uh, here you're going to see a table that uh, looks, uh, you know, similar to uh, an Excel spreadsheet, right? So it allows you to actually copy and paste data from Excel really quick uh, and really easy. Okay, so I'm going to open that other file uh, that uh, we have. It's the Excel file. So here we have the Excel file uh, document and uh, we have the data here. So we have a describing data with graphs uh, tab. I'm gonna use that one. So what you need to do is just select all the data. So you can select uh, the, oops. You can select the uh, first row as well. Do shift control down. So we'll select everything. You do a copy here. And then uh, we need to go to our mini tab. And then you click here and you paste it, right? So you can control V, oops, mine didn't work. So you can click uh, paste and we'll paste all the data, okay? So you can see here that you have to paste it here in the first one, which is actually before the number one, right? because uh, this first row for mini tab is going to be the, the title, the labels, right? So you're always gonna have a, a zero, let's say, uh, before is always have one row there where you put the titles of the labels and then you started looking at your data, right? So you have uh, C1, C2, T, and C3. Okay, why did it, the, the, it put a T there, right? Uh, because that's for attribute data. Okay, so you can see that minutes in shift and processing time, they are continuous data. So uh, it doesn't change anything, but many tab already recognize that part time is an attribute data, right, or discrete data. Okay, and that's why it, it put a, a T there. Okay, so uh, if, you, if you just copy and paste it, so now I want you to do is just pause this video Go and do it yourself, okay? Every step that I'm doing here, you pause it and you do it yourself so you make sure you're able to do that. This, we just copy and paste it, but we paste it in this cell here, okay? Are we good? I have a question, just let me know, okay? You also have uh, some videos to help you with mini tab uh, of tutorials that you can find. You can Google something there if you don't know how to do it. So page uh, 59 in our uh, class notes, we have this beautiful thing that we kind of discussed in class where you look at the normality test and some other good stuff. And that's what we're gonna do. And here on top, we have the, let's say the path for it, okay? So take a look at your notes. So it's basics is stats first. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click stats. I'm gonna click in basic statistics. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on graphical summary. I'm gonna, I don't know if you guys are seeing this or not. So let's, let's share the whole, share the whole desktop, okay? So now I'm sharing the whole desktop. It'll have a lot more information here and I, now I know that you're seeing everything. So uh, let's go into mini tabs. So stats here and we are in basic statistics. We are in graphical summary, okay? Click here, you're gonna open this and you have to say that processing time is your variable, okay? How are you gonna do this? Here say variables, you put uh, processing time and you select and it's gonna come here, okay? So now we have processing time, we want a 95 confidence level and big at a bing at a boom, that's it. So easy, just two or three clicks away. Okay, the, all the magic works when you click OK. Ta-da, here it is, okay? 
So here we have the summary. We have the Anderson Darling test. What does that mean? It means that you know if the if it's a normal distribution or not. Remember, if it's uh, less than 0 0.05, it's not a normal distribution. Okay. Uh, and you can go here with the window. You can go scroll down. You have this image. It's also tell you the mean, the standard deviation, and the confidence interval of the mean. Right. So this is between 54.9 and between 56.22, okay? So that's the first thing we did. Uh, the next thing we did was this one, right? So the next page, we were in page 60. We kind of realized that part time could impact in processing time, right? So if part time impacts in processing time, we need to figure out a way to look at this processing times of different parts, right? Just and see if they're different or not. So how we're going to do that, we're going to follow, again, the path that is here on the top, which is stats, basic statistics, graphical summary, processing as variables. It is already here, but by variable here, which is optional, we're going to put the part type, okay? And you select that. So now it's going to divide in part time. Again, you guys know how to do the magic. Hey, magic works, right? So here we have part A, part B, part C, right? And we have the confidence interval of the mean, okay? So the confidence interval of the mean will tell you that the mean of A is between 52.232 and 52.9. If we go to the next one, process B, the mean is between 55.857 and 56.95, right? So what is this telling us? Well, it tells us that these two confidence intervals are not overlapping, so they're separate from each other. So with 9.5 confidence level, I can say that these means are different. And that's amazing, right? I know, that's amazing. I know, you guys blow your minds you can say that these means are not the same with statistical significance, right? So that's the PGA, the practical, graphical, and analytical. This will be an analytical uh, conclusion, right? You're gonna say with 95 confidence level, these means are not the same. The mean of part A is different than the mean of part B. And we're gonna talk uh, actually more and more and more, more and more about that. Uh, and you can also take a look at the confidence interval of C. It's between 59.905 and 60.502. If you go here, you have to take a look at B and C, see if they overlap. If they overlap just by a little bit, it means that you cannot tell, you cannot say that their means are different, okay? And that's the case, right? Because one is 59.906, the other one is 59, 56, oh, 59, 56. So yeah, 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 what are you talking about? Of course you can say, this is 59.9 and this is 56.9. So yes, you can say that uh, the mean of B and C are different, okay? We're gonna do some exercises in our class. So we did this, big at a boom, we're good. Uh, now we're gonna move to box plots, okay? We actually did box plot as well with uh, our uh, uh, Excel file, but we're gonna do it here. And you have here all the way to do that. And let me tell you, it looks a lot more cool if you do it like that, right? You have here the confidence interval of the mean here, right? The 59.9 and 60. It tells you the variance, the skewness, courtoises, the, uh, uh, quartile, but the most important thing is it's different from Excel is the Anderson Darling test, right? Because that Excel doesn't tell us. Uh, 